The Battle of Amphipolis was fought in 422 BC during the Second Peloponnesian War between Athens and Sparta. It was the culmination of events that began in 424 BC with the capture of Amphipolis by the Spartans. Chapter 1, Capture of Amphipolis, 424-423 BC In the winter of 424-423, Around the same time as the Battle of Delium, the Spartan general Brasidas besieged Amphipolis, an Athenian colony in Thrace on the Strymon River. The city was defended by the Athenian general Eucles, who sent for help from Thucydides, who was stationed at Thassus with seven Athenian ships. In order to capture the city before Thucydides arrived, Brasidas offered to let everyone who wished to stay keep their property, and offered safe passage to those who wanted to leave. Amphipolis surrendered, despite protests from Eucles. Thucydides arrived at the nearby port of Ion on the same day the city surrendered, and defended it with help from those who had left Amphipolis. Meanwhile, Brasidas began to ally with more Thracian towns, as well as Perdiccas II of Macedon, and he attacked other towns in the area, such as Tyrone. The Athenians were afraid that their other allies would quickly capitulate, as the Amphipolitans had, if Brasidas offered them favorable terms of peace. Thucydides, who recounted the capture of Amphipolis in his history of the Peloponnesian War, is often considered to be partially or entirely responsible for the fall of Amphipolis. Some have seen his actions as gross negligence, although he claimed he was unable to arrive in time to save the city. He was recalled to Athens where he was tried and exiled. Chapter 2, Armistice of 423 BC In response to the fall of the city, Athens and Sparta signed an armistice. Athens hoped they could fortify more towns in preparation for future attacks from Brasidas, and the Spartans hoped Athens would finally return the prisoners taken at the Battle of Sphacteria earlier in 425 BC. According to the terms of the truce, it is proposed that each side should remain in its own territory, Holding what it now holds, the armistice is to last for one year. While the negotiations were going on, Brasidas captured Scione and refused to give it back when news of the treaty arrived. The Athenian leader Cleon sent a force to take it back, despite the treaty. Chapter 3, Second Battle of Amphipolis, 422 BC When the armistice ended in 422, Cleon arrived in Thrace with a force of 30 ships, 1,200 hoplites, and 300 cavalry, along with many other troops from Athens' allies. He recaptured Tyrone and Scione, at Scione, the Spartan commander Pasitlidas was killed. He then took up position at Eon, while Brasidas took his position at Serdilion, a nearby elevated settlement on the right bank of the Strymon. Brasidas had about 2,000 hoplites and 300 cavalry, plus some other troops in Amphipolis, but he did not feel that he could defeat Cleon in a pitched battle. Brasidas then moved his forces back into Amphipolis and prepared to attack, when Cleon realized an attack was coming, and being reluctant to fight before expected reinforcements arrived, he began to retreat, the retreat was badly arranged and Brasidas attacked boldly against a disorganized enemy, achieving victory. In an excerpt of Brasidas' brief pre-battle speech, he specially addressed the allied Lacedaemonian forces, whom he assigned under Clearida's leadership, while for himself he handpicked 150 Spartan hoplites, he said, bear in mind that the three virtues of a good soldier are zeal in battle, sense of honor and obedience to the leaders, and I will reveal that I will conduct myself in action following the advice I give to my comrades. In the rout that followed, Brasidas was mortally injured, although the Athenians did not realize it. Cleon was also killed when he was attacked by troops under the Spartan commander Clearidas. The entire Athenian army fled back to Eon, although about 600 of them were killed before they reached the port. Only seven other Spartans were killed. Chapter 4, Results Brasidas lived long enough to learn of his victory, and was honorably buried in the Agora area of Amphipolis. The Amphipolitans began to regard him as a hero and the founder of the city. After the battle, neither the Athenians nor the Spartans wanted to continue the war, and the Peace of Nicias was signed in 421 BC. 
this treaty was also eventually broken. Thucydides was exiled for his failure to protect Amphipolis, thus ending the period of the war in which he directly participated. Sage. Kukiolai Krasanthaki in her three-decade research at Amphipolis offers evidence of the recovery and identification of Brasidas burial at the ancient Amphipolis Agora. In Plato's Apology, the philosopher Socrates claims to be a veteran of this battle. Chapter 5, Sources Ajarakis, A. Physical Anthropological Report on the Cremated Human Remains of an Individual Retrieved from the Amphipolis Agora, in Excavating Classical Amphipolis by Sage. Kukiolai Krasantkai, Excavating Classical Culture Stamatopoulou M. and M. Yerolanu, VAR International Series 1031, 2002. Plato. Apology.c.s. One Man, Ref Duplicates Default. Thucydides, The Peloponnesian War. London, J. M. Dent, New York, E. P. Dutton. 1910